When you place the document you want to photocopy upside down and press the start button, an intense beam of light scans across the document as you can see in the video. This light is then reflected and it is cast onto a photosensitive drum. The makeup of the photosensitive drum is that this drum is a metal roller that is electrostatically charged by a high voltage wire called the corona wire. On top of the drum lies a photosensitive chemical, a semiconductor called cilium. A semiconductor is simply a material whose conductivity value falls between the value of a conductor and an insulator. In other words, it is not fully a conductor and it is not fully an insulator, hence a semiconductor. So this photosensitive cilium coating on the drum is photosensitive, like I've said. By this I mean that when it receives light, it is only the areas that have received light that will conduct electricity, while the areas that have not received light will not conduct electricity. In short, cilium will act as an insulator in areas that are dark or areas where light has not been reflected, and it will act as a conductor in areas where it has received light or in areas where light has been reflected onto it. Now let's assume that this is the document we want to photocopy. When the light beam from the halogen lamp scanned the paper, the light got reflected onto the photosensitive drum. Here is how the reflection happened. During the reflection, the white area of the paper reflected the light onto the photosensitive drum, whereas the black areas did not reflect the light. I assume you are well conversant with the principle that white surfaces reflect light whereas black surfaces absorb all light and reflect none. So the reflected light onto the photosensitive drum causes the area where it has fallen to become conductive and as a result become discharged whereas the area where the light did not fall do not become conductive and so the electrons in these areas remain intact. This creates an electrical shadow of the page on the photosensitive drum. So this electrical shadow is carried by the photosensitive drum towards the toner. The toner is positively charged, so since unlike charges attract, the positively charged toner particles stick into the negatively charged electrical shadow. This now creates an image of the original document onto the drum. A blank paper from the tray then moves up the conveyor and while it moves, it is given a strong electrical charge. As this blank paper approaches the photosensitive drum, the toner remains are transferred from the drum onto the paper. The paper then passes through two hot rollers to ensure that the toner remains are fused onto the paper. This happens with the help of the heat and pressure between the rollers. So after passing through these rollers, we have a final copy of the original document.